What's going on everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films and today I got another Vegas Pro 17 tutorial for you. And in this one I'm going to be teaching you how to render your video in up to 172 frames per second. That's 172 frames per second all the way down to 1 frame per second if you wanted. But I don't think a lot of people knew about this. So if you record stuff in high frame rate footage, kind of like the new GoPros that have like 240 frames per second footage, you can make some really, really awesome cinematic slow motion shots inside Vegas and render them into extremely high frame rates. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't tried out Clio already, you should really give it a shot. It's free and it can help you manage your money and make you save a lot more money and spend a lot less money where you don't need to. It is a really helpful AI based money management program and you could try it for free, literally free there's nothing to lose you can download it, install it try it save some money and then you're awesome maybe try it and really like it then you could upgrade to their subscription service which is even better it's on apple and android so unless you have a blackberry you can download this app so if you haven't figured it out already this video is sponsored by click rising so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into that new intro Alright, so that was that was a new intro. I made that with some updated footage. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think about that intro in the comments below. So we have Vegas open right here. Now the first thing you want to do is drag and drop your footage into Vegas. Now you can drag the highest frame rate footage you want and Vegas will read it as that frame rate footage. When you drop the footage in, Vegas is of course going to ask you if you want to match the project settings. Go ahead and say yes so you can do your fine detail editing because Vegas will match your project frame rate, whatever it is, no matter how high it is. I really haven't found a limit on this. So I dragged and dropped some 240 frames per second footage in here of some skiing, some stock footage. And now I want to explain something to you. Go up to File and then go down to Properties and we're going to look at the project settings. So by default, you're going to see that it is your frame rate right here. And if you click it and try to adjust that in any way, it's only going to let you go up to about 60 frames per second. So if you erase those numbers in there and try to manually type in a number, you can type in any number all the way up to 120. So we can do 61 right here. We can do 100 frames per second. But if you try anything higher, then it's going to bump it back down to 120. If you try 240, which is what it started at, it's going to still knock it down to 120. That's Vegas's project properties limitations. So the project properties right now actually don't matter. The only thing that does matter is you got to go to resample mode and then hit disable resample. And then I always do full resolution rendering quality and put that to best. Once you're done with that, hit apply and then hit OK. Now let's mess with your footage a little bit. So this is 240 frames per second footage. I'm going to go ahead and trim it up to where the guy comes up the ramp and then I'm going to drop it down to slow motion. Now I do want to go over something real fast before we trim this up. So you guys know about cinematic motion blurs, you know, stuff that looks like a movie, kind of like you see how my hands are moving. That's motion blur right here. There's a specific rule you kind of got to follow. It's called the 180 degree rule. It basically means that whatever your frame rate is, your shutter speed should be double that. So if we were to play this 240 frames per second footage inside a video that we've rendered out in 24 frames per second, you're going to see almost no motion blur and it's going to look kind of weird, like really out of place. So when people record slow motion things like this, they stretch it out a specific percentage to where they will have a cinematic amount of motion blur and their slow motion footage will actually fit into the film really nicely. But to know how much you should slow down your video, it's all based on a simple math problem. I'm going to throw this image on the screen right here and it's going to tell you if you shoot in a certain frame rate, how much you should slow your video down for it to be a cinematic look. Now, if you have any kind of in between frame rates like the one we're going to be rendering in, which is 172, the maximum frame rate Vegas can render in, then you go ahead and throw in this math problem. 24 divided by your frame rate equals the percentage of how much you should slow your video down. Pretty simple, right? Let's go ahead and look at it in action. So I've skipped ahead to where I've trimmed the clip and added my velocity keyframes. Now you'll see the first velocity spot is at the normal 100% playback rate. And then the next two keyframes, that middle line in between there, that's actually dropped down to 10%, which is 24 divided by 240. That is my ratio to get the most cinematic look. It's going to be the slowest you can make your video with it still looking normal and really cool for this specific frame rate. Now again, there's a lot of different frame rates, so your footage may vary. So let's go ahead and jump into the render settings. Go up to file and then go down to render. Once it loads, we're just going to choose the Magix AVC AAC option. And then we're going to choose the one that matches our resolution. Now you're going to see a few options here. You're going to see the first option that doesn't have anything after the FPS. And then you may see an option if your processor has a built-in GPU. And then if you have a graphics card, you may see a third option. So this one I have an AMD. But if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you most likely will see an NVIDIA option right here as well. 
Now the options that you want to choose are either the one with nothing after FPS, meaning it's going to encode with your processor, or the AMD and Nvidia ones. All of those options will give you the ability to render in up to 172 frames per second. If you have some sort of onboard graphics like this Intel QSV, that will not let you render anything above 60 frames per second. So since everybody has the blank one, I'm going to choose this one for demonstration purposes. And then we're going to go down to customize template. From here, I like to change my profile to high. And then in frame rate, if we drop down the option, we'll only see up to 60 frames per second. So we have to manually type the number in. If we try to type in a random number, like 100, it'll work. Yeah. And if you try to type in 150 frames per second, that'll work too. But if you try to type in 240 frames per second, it's going to drop it down to 172. That is the max it'll let you do. And if we go down to the encode mode, if it's on main concept ABC, that means it's your processor encoding. If we drop that down to Intel, you're going to see the frame rate adjust. And then we try typing in a random number. It will not let us go above 59.9. It'll always drop it back down to a default, no matter what number we put in there. And if we change it to our GPU and we try to type these numbers in, it will let us do above 60. So 100, 240. Again, that's going to drop it down to 172. That is the max. So we're just going to do main concept ABC because that's the one everybody has. The allow source to adjust frame rate, I've honestly never seen this work. From what I know, that's supposed to let your source footage choose the frame rate. But from what I'm seeing, it always takes the priority of what's in the frame rate option as the rendering frame rate. So I just leave that off. Go down to the project tab and choose best. I always like to do that. Go up to video. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name this temp, but you can name it like 172 FPS if you wanted. Hit OK. And then I'm going to render this out. Once it's finished, you'll have your rendered file. I'm going to drag it under the screen right here. And we see our test one. If we right click it and then go down to properties and then we go to the details tab, it's going to tell us the frame rate, which is 172 frames per second. And you'll notice that the render settings take priority over the project settings, which is why I was saying the project settings at the beginning didn't really matter too much. It's all about the render settings at that point. The project settings only matter when you are actually doing your editing. So if you were to change your project settings to 24 frames per second, and then you import some 240 frames per second footage, each time you press forward on the keyboard to skip forward one frame, you're skipping 10 frames of that source footage. So you do want your project settings to be as high as possible while you're editing, but when you're rendering, it doesn't make a difference. Let's go ahead and see what this render looks like. All right, that did look pretty cool. If you want to download that stock footage, you can. I'll go ahead and link that in the description below. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. You can now, you now know how to render all the way up to 172 frames per second, any resolution up to 4K if you wanted. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, be sure to leave a like down there. That'd be pretty cool. And if you want to leave a subscribe, you can subscribe down there too, because I have a bunch of other Vegas tutorials on my channel, Scrapyard Films. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next video. And I'd like to give a special shout out to my super patrons, HPL Gamers and LMC.